I'm here at the Georgetown Club Corps where the individual segment of this year's Caribbean Area Squash Association Junior Championships would have concluded on Tuesday afternoon. For Guyana, they would have gotten three individual medals in the under-13 girls category every Arjun, the daughter of legend squash player, Guyanese squash player, that is, Roger Arjun, would have defeated Trinidad Tobago counterpart uh, Josie Thong to win that girl's under 30 gold medal. In the under 17 category, the boys under 17, it was a clash between two local rivals, Nicholas Vorway and Michael Alfonso. Nicholas Vorway would have came out on top in that one, and there was a chance for both under 19s to win gold medals in terms of Kirsten. Gomes would have played Sumer Sulman of Barbados. However, the Barbadian would have won that encounter. But as many expected, yet again, Shamari, Mr. Consistent Wilshire, would have delivered the boys under 19 title his final year as a junior athlete, as he would have defeated Darian Ben of Barbados quite convincingly. I'm very happy because like those are kind of like legends who you look up to and um, I also have been playing with Nicolette as well so like I'm very happy to like win my sixth title and well, my titles in our categories because it shows how dominant, dominant I was throughout my whole junior career. What was it today? Uh, obviously before this match would have been played a lot of works already had you to win but you still went out in and deliver a top performance. How do you keep in tune among the noise? Well um, I just like to keep it clear in mind and keep like my mental at a height because like that's the main thing. You need to keep your confidence up during the match as uh, if that goes low, you, like, you can start making errors and then like the match could t take a turn. So that's why you need to keep that mentality high and keep, keep pushing to, to win. Uh, numerous junior titles at Casa. Where do you rate this one? I, I feel this, this is my most important because like it's the boys on the 19 level and that is like where most players like reach, reach your level and are like, gunning for you. So this is my most important title for me. It feels amazing. The last time I played in the finals in 2019 against same Mikey, I lost and it was really devastating. So to play this time, you know, I went in wanting to win it bad because I never won one before. So it feels, it feels real good. How hard do you have to work for this? I mean, I've been training for the past year since I lost in COVID. You know, I've been putting in the work all the time. I've been training hard, working on fitness, working on, you know, just being on court all the time and working with my coaches to achieve this goal. Uh, this is the first time you had to come from behind in, in this tournament. Usually, sometimes you can be rattled with pressure, but this time you seem cool as ever. What, what was the change in mindset? What, what's keeping you so cool and making you so successful? Um, well, I think first of all, playing at home. You know, I train on this court nearly every single day, so that was a big advantage. Um, also, the experience I played, this is my third castle, so I know some of the players, I know how they play. And you know, you watch old matches before to know, you know, how they used to play before. So it gives me a little comfort knowing in that I have some expectation of how they could play and how I would match up against them. It was very intense because I mean she was really she's really good and it was I tried really hard not to make mistakes because it went to five games. So it was really hard because she's really good. How do you feel about your accomplishment? Uh, you, you came here your first time playing for Guyana. How do you feel about this accomplishment? Uh, I'm really happy with the way that I played. And I'm excited that this is my first one that I won. So I hope to win more in the teams. So very good. On any pressure, your father is one of the greatest players ever to, to, to represent Guyana. On any pressure that daddy was a great and I have to come here and win? Yeah, he was the one who pushed me into doing squash and I really appreciate that because it's a great sport and I really enjoy playing it. So he's the one who got me here. Attention now shifts to the team segment which starts Wednesday morning at both the Georgetown Club and the National Rocket Center. Dan is in a hunt to regain the title after last win overall prong in 2016. For the newsroom, Akim Green.